a man turned an abandoned garage into a luxurious home. Hello friends, what should a person do when he has limited resources but a huge desire to own a roof over his head? Perhaps some would tell him to save money and wait, while others would tell him to give up on the idea altogether. Probably most of us would do exactly that. However, there are also creative people who can transform even the most unexpected places. They create a cozy atmosphere within them and turn them into their dream homes. The story of a freelance photographer, Jeremy Buckholz, began a few years ago when the 34-year-old man returned from Paris to Bordeaux, where he is originally from. Paris, which has an obvious romantic charm, was attractive to him because of the work, but the city had absolutely no affordable real estate. Even when he returned to his native Bordeaux, a city in southwestern France that has the same rich history, Jeremy realized that finding small, inexpensive real estate will be much harder than he anticipated. For a few months, Jeremy lived in a rented apartment with an area of only 25 meters square for which he paid a crazy sum of money, $800 a month to be precise. Throughout this time, he searched the internet for opportunities to buy real estate practically every day but couldn't find anything within his budget. Day after day passed and the man was losing hope until one day, he came across a dilapidated garage on Buhan Passage, a quiet street on the artistic left bank of the Garonne River. The garage cost $107,000, which he was fine with because it was only one-third of the typical price for a house of similar size in Bordeaux. The garage was a run-down storage room, full of junk behind metal doors. The artist recalls that as soon as he saw the abandoned garage, he began to fantasize about what could be done with the space and really liked what he came up with. The plain structure was hidden in a small valley, along which stood 18th century stables that were converted into housing. That's when the man thought that he too could turn a garage into a house. Jeremy's friends were less optimistic. They told him to give up on the idea when they saw pictures of the garage. His friends told him that he was crazy and that nothing could be done with the space. It had no electricity, it had nothing. Maybe he would have listened to his acquaintances if he hadn't met a person who decided to support him. His friend, Matthew Demarion, shared his enthusiasm. They both believed that the place could be turned into an excellent home. The actual garage was located in a historical part of the city and was protected by law as an architectural monument. For the new owner, this meant that only the metal gates and the modernized facade could be changed, whereas the roof and the walls could not be altered. These conditions seriously limited his actions. The structure was in extremely close proximity to neighboring buildings, which meant that the house would have to be completely windowless. However, this too did not scare the photographer. After dealing with all the legal documents, the man got to work. Together with his friend, he came up with a truly original solution. They decided to create a house within a house. First of all, he cut out a small part of the roof, 12 meters squared, and installed hinged windows in its place, a small distance away from the edge of the roof covering. Thanks to this trick, he was able to create a small indoor patio where he put a seating area, which was decorated in a minimalistic style. At first, they planned to use the 12 meters squared for a car, but later realized there was enough space for it in front of the building. This transformation later allowed Jeremy to install sliding glass doors and panoramic windows inside the structure. This created a separation between the patio and the main living area, which allowed sunshine to enter the inside of the transformed garage. It also created a modern ventilation system, since fresh air had no other way of accessing the garage. Later, the men replaced the metal gates on the front side of the facade with big windows and a glass door, which cleverly hid behind a wooden pull-out system. One section of the original construction opens the window, while the others opens the door. At night, or when leaving the house, both parts are tightly closed, which forms a solid, monolithic wall. Another interesting fact is that because the structure is located in a historical part of the city, the law stipulates that a section of the street is the property of the new owner, but he isn't allowed to put a gate in front of it. That's why such windows and doors are safe from the intrusion of burglars or regular hooligans. The actual alley where the garage house sits is under 24-7 surveillance and is a quiet and peaceful area of the city center. The panoramic windows that separate the patio from the main living area make the house very light and cozy. The building bears few reminders of having been a garage. After all other manipulations, the space left over to house the main living area was a pretty impressive 41 meters squared. It was important to use it wisely. First of all, Jeremy insulated the walls and installed central heating, having secured the needed permits beforehand. 
Only after that did he begin to organize the living space. The shape of the space allowed it to be divided into a few distinct zones and to install a modular system that performs several functions at once. In order for the food preparing zone to have enough light and ventilation, he decided to build it right by the entrance's window, which could be opened at any time. This also facilitated the installation of a powerful fan, which protected all the other parts of the apartment from steam and soot, since, in essence, it was a studio apartment. Next to it, they created a dining room, which could easily fit six people. In this way, the kitchen-dining room combination became a perfect place to host guests. Because the ceiling was at different heights, which increases in the middle, the modular system fits perfectly. It allows for the creation of a few rooms simultaneously. On one side, they put a couch to create the living room. A little further away was a secluded space which Jeremy equipped with all the necessary technology and began to use it as a study. On the other side of the module are steps leading to the second tier, which contains a double bed. In this way, the garage house even has a full-fledged, cozy bedroom. In order for the bedroom not to feel claustrophobic, Jeremy carefully took off some of the historic roof tiles and installed sky windows. Through them, you can look at the stars and the night sky. A small library was also placed there. But that's not all. This modular system allowed for the installment of a full-fledged bathroom with a relatively spacious shower and all of the needed attributes. It also has a washer and an electric water heater. Other than that, every free inch of this miraculous system hides storage spaces, ranging from full-fledged closets and shelves to drawers inside the steps and under the couch and bed. Of course, such a grandiose reconstruction cost Jeremy quite a lot of money. It came out to $187,000, including the purchase of the garage. But Jeremy himself says that this kind of money could have bought him only a portable toilet in Paris. What's interesting is that according to French urban planning laws, a house can only be considered residential if it has a parking space that is at least 12 meters squared. Jeremy's house is considered residential because of the constructed patio, which can also serve as a parking space. After this amazing transformation, Jeremy's friends, who did not initially believe in the potential of the courageous project, were in awe as soon as they stepped into the cozy and modern home. They themselves began to consider making such fruitful investments, since even the most modest estimations value this house at $400,000 at least. Jeremy himself is very happy that he was successful. He always welcomes guests with a smile. Friends, what do you think of the idea to transform an old garage into an inhabited house? Definitely share your opinions in the comments. That's all for today. Rate this video if you liked it. See you soon.